Alright, hello all you crazy people out there. My name is Dragonite and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. I'm back in the data center, as it is properly called. Um, you... Do you have another... Okay, so this is another... Okay, so I know that some of the quests, when you, uh, when you finish them, you can talk to the person that gave them to you, or in this case, the machine that gave them to you, and, um, have even more things assigned to you. Uh, you would like me to check the quest log because there's a number of objectives, and I didn't feel like reading the, uh, the entry. Alright, you guys keep talking. You! All of these things still have the ex exclamation marks above their heads, which tells me that there's a lot of things that I can be assigned to do here. Uh, you want wrathful orobas in the area of Dio's Pillar. And you! I'm just gonna pick these up even if I don't do them. Uh, you want four radar things in Agneritha, and you don't really care where. You! There are three more of them, because there are just six quest givers in the same place. Um, whatever that says. At Nagnaritha. And there is so much text that I'm just not going to read it. You would like Wise Jeremy. Okay, so that's the one that was kicked in my butt a while ago. Unique monster quests are always nice, and they're usually timed, so I can't just put them off indefinitely if I want to ever finish them. Um... Restore? Okay, collect- find collectibles to act as raw materials. Um, I have done that already, I think. At least that objective in the quest. Have I- I don't think I finished the quest itself, right? Because it would have told me that. Alright, anyway. So there are probably some other things that I should, uh, that I should talk about. And one of them is that there are some menu entries that I haven't done anything with. Um, this is the affinity chart. This is the heart-to-heart -heart thing in the achievements. I'm most interested in the affinity chart. And I, I last looked at this in, like, uh, can I zoom all the way out? I last looked at this in, like, Colony 9, and I don't think I've even thought about it since then. And these are all the named NPCs that we've talked to. And let's zoom in. Alright, so these will be the relationships between people. Emmy Leader and, uh, Re Rao. Please don't put that many vowels right next to each other. Anyway, you don't like each other. Anybody else? Alright, so you're the, you're the guy who was punching a tree all the way back when. And I still haven't quite figured out why. And these are all the- oh, you're the one with the watch who I never, whose watch I never fixed. You're somewhere in Colony 9. I could probably go back and do that. Uh, Papa and Rono. Sweet treat maker. You're okay with each other. High hopes. Alright, so this will be, uh, Magna Forest, uh, I can't remember the, tame, the town's name. What, what's the town with that goes up the tree for, like, 11 stories? I don't remember. Oops. What about the other places? Colony 6, there's, like, two people in Colony 6, right? Upper Bionis, Hidden Village, uh, Colony 6 area. Oh, there's a couple people here. I guess these would be the refugees from, from Charlotte's thing and, um, Gar Plains. Olga, Ernest, Pama... And Arda. Alright, but anyway, I don't know if there's any gameplay-wise important things that I can extract from this chart, or if it's just interesting to, to, like, see how far we've come and have a metric of, like, how much of the game we've completed or anything like that. Um, hey. But that is something that I wanted to at least look at. This is the list of all of the, uh, the heart-to-hearts. Okay, so it even shows the one that I haven't done yet, and how close everybody is to... Have I not seen the characters involved here yet? That's neat. And, uh, and how much the characters involved like each other, so that's pretty useful. Um, I've only, I think, looked at two of them? Was that three of them? Not many. I should probably go back for at least a couple of these. I might dedicate a video to just doing that later on. Um, and, uh, the ones that I've seen seem quite humorous and, uh, worth looking at, even if they don't add anything to the, uh, the the game itself. These are achievements. Alright, so I can I can use a chain attack 50 times, and even more chain attacks, and an epic number of chain attacks. A lot of these, it looks like there are multiple versions of, um, of them. Because they're just, like, grind out things, like use chain attacks a certain number of times. Keep using melee arts. Um, I've had Charlotte and Dunban in my party for quite a long time, and I haven't gotten the achievements for keeping to keeping using those. I do have rookies, though, a hundred times. 
But yeah, uh, achievements. Terminal Velocity, I saw that one. That was funny enough. Um, fell into water from a height of 200 meters. I think that was like the first thing that I did in this game. Um, Collectopedia stuff, okay. So most of it's not anything unusual. Most of them look like things that you would do anyway by completing the game. Uh, let's see, quests, I've been in there plenty. Time and view tutorials. Don't really want to do either of those. Um, I haven't looked at equipment in a little while. I haven't looked at arts and skills in a little while. Alright, I went through that. Um, there were a couple skills to be learned. And, uh, well, leveled up anyway. Not too many. Can I? Okay, so I just need one more item to complete this entire, uh, Agneritha area. It's one more of type strange, which is cool. By the way, what, what are these for, though, the other section? Is there just, are there just miscellaneous areas in, um, in Xenoblade Chronicles hey. that I can look at later? Area maps that I need to look at. All right, so, let's see, I've gone and done some uh, administrative stuff, and I think I'm going to be doing a, well, not a complete 180 on what I've said about quests because I've been doing a little bit more of that in this area because, uh, a lot of the ones that I just picked up in the data center are fairly, you can, uh, you can do them just by, just by exploring the area. Um, but let me look at them again. And then I'll move on, I promise. Alright, so there's one, there's a Telethia with three heads in District 1, Residential District 1. Uh, there's a Telethia with three heads around Hellas Pillar. There's a Telethia with three heads around Telethia Bridge. That's probably the one that I was running over. And there's a Telethia with three heads in the Judicial District. Okay, so, I kind of want to write that down so that I don't have to re-enter this menu every time I, uh, complete one. Um, I need paper. Alright, that has been written down. Um, I'm going to go looking for one of those areas. Agneritha. Residential District 1, Hellas Pillar. I think Residential District 1 is fairly nearby. Um, this is 2. Okay, so 1 is right behind me. I'm gonna go to the door just because it's a little closer. And... It should be quite around here. Quite around here. It should be qu quite close to here, I think. Uh, it's probably, if I had to guess, the one that we first observed when we walked in. That's a grape spring. For near the beautification. Yeah, I think this is the one that we first observed when we first walked in. Hello! That's one. Alright, so... Where are the other ones? Hellas Pillar, Telethia Bridge, Ju Ju Judicial District. I was just at Hellas Pillar, so I know more or less where that is. And in any case, there was a, uh... There was a, uh... One of the markers at the top of it. It is this one, right? No, this is, um, this is one of the other pillars. Hang on a minute, I'm, I'm dumb. I'm not using my brain here. Which is nothing new. Alright, anyway, the Worship Terrace is fairly close to the Judicial, judicial District, which is, uh, where one of the other ones is. Alright, this is where I want to go to move on, isn't it? I'm going to not step on that big circle. And... Oh, for God's sake, I've already forgotten where, uh, where the Judicial District is. I think it's in this direction. Is it, uh... If I were to look over the, the wall, would I see a red marker? No, but I see it on the map. Okay, so I'm gonna have to deal with you all over again. I can do that. Okay, so the other thing... The other thing... That I've been, uh, that I realized... Where is it? Where's shield? Here's shield. Is that when these visions come... You can use Minato Shield and just completely nullify them. Or at least you can do that with the, uh, the, the Talon Arts one, which is the, the white warning message. Uh, there are also red and blue warning messages, and I don't know... Shulk, stop having things not going well. I don't know if that works for the, uh, for, for those types of visions as well. Um, but yeah, it is really that easy to block attacks. And I don't know why I was just having trouble with that earlier. Let's see, there's that. There's that, and there's that, and there's dead. Okay, well, that didn't go as planned. Okay, so there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of machine friends around here. Can someone help, please? But yeah, that, that is knowledge that would have, have, that would have been, like, completely invaluable for probably most of the fights in this adventure. Sharla, get over here, for God's sake, thank you. Can I, can I even get through you so that I can revive my friends? Because I can't. Thank you. Oh, for God's sake. Also, the number on the attack is literally just the, the level that Minato Shield has to be before you can, uh... For, for it to work. 
It is really that easy. I was just making this game that much harder on myself than it had to be. Okay, so this is essentially the end of me. And there was no surrender button that would make this just that much easier. Okay, so I guess I'll be having to take the uh, the long way around to the, uh, the, the judicial district. Also, given that they're called unique monsters by the game and not just me apparently, because I found that out when I was editing also, you think they wouldn't respawn. All right, let's try this one. Third control platform, that sounds like another tower. There's a blank, there was a blank space on the map um, between this and, all right. Are you gonna leave me alone? I kind of don't want to leave you alone because I mean, 3000 experience is nothing to sneeze at. That is one of these quest things. Amid all the chaos and numbers and particle effects. That is another one of the quest things. Amid all the chaos and particle effects and numbers and everything else. Alrighty then. That took a while because once again it called all of its friends and there was just a uh, a free beer party here on uh, on this tower that I'm standing on right now. And let's see, where do I have to go though? I'm going to the judicial district, aren't I? I don't remember. How do I even get there? I've just, I just got completely turned around when I went down and got into that fight. And, um... I don't want to have to check the map yet again. Oh, okay, oh, wait, 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 wait. First, there's an ether thing here. Except I can't get to it from here because it's up there somewhere. Oh, it's up there! Wait, can I? You have to drop down. Can I jump? Shulk, 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 stop sucking. Thank you. All right. It's nice. Make me doing a little bit of platforming to uh, to get what I'm looking for. Let's see. The giant three-headed telethi, you say, though. I've all of a sudden forgotten how the... Uh, I want to go in this direction. That direction? I want to go in that direction. I've all of a sudden forgotten how the... Uh, the camera controls work in this game. Where is it? Okay. I Great. Alright, that's nice. But yeah, um... I see it. Alright, it's down there. At... Who are you fighting now? Uh, let's do this. Reluctantly. Alright, I think we're done now. And I can interact with the treasure chest like I initially wanted to. Alright. Shout. Alright, we can get stuck in the, uh, the, the geometry of the level. Let's see. But there's, there's a couple things that are trying to get my attention out there. And I hope that I can get to them by running down this, uh, this bridge, right? Is there gonna be a monster in here? This is Dio's Pillar. Wait, did I start here in Dio's Pillar? Wait. Why am I so lost? This is the Judicial District! Oh, okay, I can drop down. Thought there was a fence there, and I'm glad there wasn't. Let's see, where does that go though? Oh, it doesn't go anywhere. It's just there so that you can drop down. But yeah, this is the Telethia. And it looks like, okay, that's the one with the bridge, uh, which is conveniently really nearby. Spicy banana. It's not something that I would uh, snack on voluntarily, although if I was hungry, probably would all the same. Let's see, I drop down here, right? This isn't the one with the, uh, Mr. Big Ol' Unique Monster, right? Okay, I don't see it. It's down there, I think. Um, I need to examine the bridge itself. And there's one more. I've done the Residential District, Hellas Pillar, Telethia. I need Hellas Pillar. Where's Hellas Pillar? I forget how to get to Hellas Pillar. I don't know how to get anywhere in here. I'll just run around until I find it, or just, uh, fast travel if I get impatient. Um, I think that was the second... The second control platform? No, it wasn't. I've been there already. Um, why can't the pillars be named on the map? I know they'd be right underneath the uh, the blue transportable. Uh, yeah, I know that the like pillar names would be right underneath the blue transportable names that are just the control points, and they're not that uh, not that memorable as far as names go. But 
I really wish they could be a little off to the side or something so that I could at least see which one I want to go to. This is Hell's Pillar. Alright, so somewhere up or down there's going to be something of interest. Is it down there? I can't see. Alright, first, you are going to be in my way either now or later. And I would prefer it to be now. Alright, like, this would be a good chance to find out if I can get this thing again. This would be a good chance to find out if Monado's shield defends against the, uh, the red attacks, which I think are Aether Arts. And it looks like it actually did. Although I died. I didn't see me taking the attack. I think I died from something else. I'll have to review that on the... I'll have to review the recording to find out exactly what happened. Hey. Quest progress. There we go. The challenge of that battle was somewhat unique in that it was not hard or scary or anything, but it was uh, it was operating at like Microsoft PowerPoint speeds. Because uh, pretty much from start to finish, it was just one continuous um, particle show. Yeah, there have been a couple. Okay, so it's not up here. There have been a couple uh, battles in this game like that, and they've been getting more and more frequent as the. Uh, as we progress and things get bigger and better, but I get more of a kick out of that than most people probably would. Anyway, where's the the? I'm looking for a three-headed thing. It did say Hell's Pillar, right? And that is where I am, right? Yeah, it does say Hell's Pillar, and I'm pretty sure I am in Hell's Pillar. Let me. Um... Oh wait, if I turn this way, that just appeared on the map. How do I get there? Ah, uh, fine. So as you can see, there are still fights that give me a thousand-ish, or sometimes even less experience per monster, but those are, uh, those are like the, the things that you can fight and that will die if you so much as sneeze in their general direction. Um, so that's pretty, uh, it's pretty amazing how fast the uh, experience totals have gone up. Anyway, you I would like to investigate. Can I investigate you first? Yes. And that will be... Quest rewards of uh, both monetary and experience-tary... I made that up, uh... Value. I don't know if I can get a couple levels. Cool. I don't know if I can go back and, uh... Alright. I don't know if I can go back and get yet another investigation, but I'll deal with that later. That's the thing! Okay. Wait, did I, uh... Was that a unique monster that I had to kill? Okay, it, that wasn't very strong or scary. And I got a lot of gold for that, which is good because it allows me to buy more skill books more importantly than anything else. Alright. Didn't even give me that much experience. But yeah, Fiora got a level and I have some treasure. And I have an ether lamp that I can raid. Three times. And I think that's it for this platform. Yeah, I already talked to the Telethia. Let me go back and um, if there's another if there's another thing that I can do with Telethia, Telethia investigations, I'll probably do it later, or just not ever. And uh, if there's not anything to do with Telethia investigations, I'll just do something else later. All right. So which one do I have to talk to? Is it you? I'm just gonna guess until I uh, figure it out. That's the one that I'm working on, right? I think I'm working on that one. Who's who wanted something about Telethia? Offensive slash brave. All right, I think I'm working on those as well. Um, all right, there's no more exclamation marks. I guess that's it for the Telethia investigation. In which case, uh, I'm going to end the video. This isn't going to be the longest video because it was just one task that was mostly running around and trying to figure out how to get to places that I've already been to. Um, so. My name is Dragonite. This has been Xenoblade Chronicles. In the next part, we may or may not be moving on. It depends on how much I feel like doing or not doing some of the other quests that I've been given. I'll deal with that when I have to. And I will see you all later. Ah!